Okay, cool. So I know nothing about business and that's why I introduce to you. So this is Mary Louise Smith. Mary Louise, thank you for your time today. Um, I met Mary Louise long time back, back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, but I saw her the other day with a networking session that I attended and I had a complimentary voucher um, session with Mary Louise and um, from that session, I decided I want to walk a journey with Marie Louise for the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marie Louise, I want to ask you three questions, three quick mm -hmm. questions. Um, the first one, starting off, uh, why is it important for businesses to prep for 2022? I think a lot of people want to scale down for the mm -hmm. holidays now and start relaxing. Why is it important to up your game at this right um, period of look? Mm. Okay, Zita, so the thing is that um, the president talked to us last week and he said that uh, we are now on level one. And a lot of us were, I call it hopeism, were hoping for the economy to open up a bit more. But the thing is that everybody's still hoping and waiting. And in the uncertainty, they're not sure about how they should be taking action. Mm -hmm. So the time is now to plan for next year. The time is now to make decisions about your business and about your life. Because next year, I believe we're going to be opening up the economy a bit more, then you won't have time. So it's now time to prep. What is one of the challenges or um, one of the many aspects that you've seen that businesses struggle with um, and that you can assist with? Okay. So the biggest aspect I think is usually marketing. They're struggling with marketing, they're struggling with sales. Um, I actually have an analogy. Uh, when you are the best person to build a cupboard, when you are a carpenter um, and you work for somebody, then you think, but I'm also, I always do the work. It's not the boss, it's me. I'm gonna start my own business and then you leave. But what have you forgotten? You forget that you know nothing about sales. You know nothing about marketing. You know nothing about finances. You know nothing about building a team. You know nothing about customer service actually and the steps that are going to put your business forward and get you to the place of, um, of a bigger and better performance. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So basically, you don't know anything about business. You think you do, not to be like mean or anything, but... You're a specialist. You know how to build a cupboard, but you haven't learned any of the other skills that you need to build a business. And I think that's what happened with me as well. Um, I knew a little bit about video and I was just going, going for it, very passionate about it. I still am. Um, but the business side of it, sure. Nux, <laughs> I know nothing. So yeah, that's where I get Marie Louise in. So thank you so much for um, being willing to, to assist. Yeah, yeah, yes, nobody right to plug on for your help. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you assist in, in uplift uh, small or big um, scaled businesses. What is your um, secret tool or, um, I don't know, what, what do you use? Well, we don't want to know everything, but what would you, <laughs> yeah. Because it's a big lift Okay, so uh, Action Coach has got this whole formula and we call it your five ways to build your business. So we look at if you want more customers, if you um, want a bigger revenue, if you want a bigger profit, those are all results of action oriented things that you should be focusing on to bring that in for you. And then the other big thing is you need to manage your cash flow. And there are actually levers that you can use to improve your cash flow and to look at improving your profit in the end. Revenue is vanity, profit is sanity, cash is king. <laughs> That's a very, very good tip. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think especially if you look at entrepreneurs or businesses that's, that's starting up right now, um, some of them do not have the fortune, fortune of having the cash, cash flow, um, where others, I don't know, maybe they've got savings or, or investments, mm -hmm. but I think that also makes it a little bit more tricky to just on. Mm, yeah, because you need to get in funds and you need to know because the bank is not going to give you money if you don't have cash flow. Mm. I know um, Tabu also once mentioned, um, you know, you, you can't just go to a bank and just expect money um, and then just 
carry on. You need to do stuff. You can't wait for the money. You, you just need to go on. But anyways, I think I'm going off the point here, but <laughs> cash yeah. flow. Okay. Cash flow, cash flow. Mm. What advice do you have for any um, small or big or business or entrepreneur? Mm. That's a big one. I think that, um, I think especially in this time. Yeah, you know, um, I think confidence, you need confidence and you need a mentor to help you to get to get through. And then also mindset. Guys, mindset is a big thing because um, positivity. And even if you look at the past, well, 20, 21 months, your mindset, the things that you needed to do to pick yourself up every morning and your I am statements, things that you, your inner voice. <laughs> Sometimes you self-sabotage by the things that you keep on telling yourself. So I think those are the biggest things. What do you do to motivate yourself or um, keep yourself positive? I am a very positive person to start with. Um, and what I need to do is, I definitely, with Action Coach, which always brings me back is if I present to a group it energizes me and it um, gives me value. And then I learn something about my own mindset slides again and the penny drops for me again. Mm. So, Are you positive so people. I, um, I don't have people that bring me down around me. I really, I am very careful of the people in my inner circle. They're all positive people, they're all uplifting. And of course, um, as you get older, you go through struggles in life and that also equips you if you are willing to learn yeah. from the things that happens in your life. Mm. Okay. Okay, so you mentioned marketing is one of the um, tools that's needed. I, from your experience, I know you've also got a lot of experience in um, social media, right? You've been at Foxblood? Yeah. Foxblood, I was actually, I'm a, I'm a qualified graphic designer. Oh, so okay, well done. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I five me. Was it? <laughs> So I'm a qualified graphic designer and then I worked through the ranks at Volksblatt. I ended with a bit of marketing, uh, doing the marketing and also um, I did the pre-press. Everything that happens techni technically speaking before you get to the oscillating press. And, and how, has the, how has the marketing changed since Volksblatt from paper to um, radio or social media? Where, where is the platform currently? Where, where are people at and where should they go to? Mm. What should they use? I'm glad you're asking that because um, in my experience, when I now get to business owners and I ask them, what, is your, what, what strategies do you use for marketing? And the, the answer is always Facebook. Mm. I say, okay, so uh, what? Do you do paid advertising? What do you do? Yeah, a bit of paid and um, a lot of uh, generic. Mm. Um, I think that people have forgotten that you need to connect with someone. So event marketing. You need to go into event marketing. Um, a lot of business owners do have tips and tools mm. in their business. Let's look at an accountant. He can have a whole workshop and just by giving tips and tools of what the things that you should be doing in your business. And as soon as um, prospects connect with somebody like that, then they see what they need and what they're missing out on. And that way you can also, it's a strategy to get in more customers into your business. Okay, sure. Get people to trust you, right? No, like, trust. And only then they will start buying. Hmm, okay. Where did you um, get that voucher? <laughs> <laughs> At a networking <laughs> event. Exactly. Okay. And that's why I say even you, Zita, you can have an event. And then you have maybe a tips and tools event of um, how to um, shoot a short video on your cell phone. Flip, I was going to say tips, tools and tequila. <laughs> <laughs> that's another, that's an awesome one, a collaboration with somebody that um, we ex tequila. <laughs> okay, yeah, actually. Guys, who's keen, please go me a DM. We can really do that. <laughs> That's so cool, yes. And then, Marie Louise, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they go about that whole process? <laughs> okay, so um, you can contact me via email. You can give me a call. I'm still one of those people that love receiving a call instead of the voice note or the WhatsApp. I love it if people connect with me. 
and they call me. Mm -hmm. So I'm willing to um, give a voucher for a free coaching session. So what do we usually do in a coaching session? We um, I find... Did, I did one of the coaching sessions, by the way, and that's my yeah. Sorry, So we, we find opportunity for your business. We look for opportunities and we look at the business at a whole different way than you are used to looking. Mm -hmm. Because you are entrenched in your business, you don't see the opportunities always anymore. And you get a look, you get a feel for what a coaching session is like. Mm. And that's basically why I'm willing to do this. You know what? Um, a lot of business owners don't really have somebody to soundboard with. Mm. And they don't have somebody that can mentor them and assist them and help them to go to grow the business. And I think it's a huge opportunity for anyone to just come and have a chat. Guys, this is a huge opportunity. Um, uh, that's how I got to know Marie Louise. Uh, she gave me, uh, she, she, we talked about a few stuff and I, I was just mind blown. So really use this opportunity, um, limited sessions or um, tickets or goeters uh, that she's handing <laughs> out. Um, so yeah, make use of it. Okay, geit geklap klank. Oké, kan ik maar gaan? Kan ik ook. Oké, cool. Ik ga gaan nu, sorry. Ik krijg ook jouw woorden raar.